pregnant for the first time may seem very daunting. Being pregnant for the first time with a disability may seem very overwhelming and challenging. I'm Jem and I'm a disability lifestyle vlogger on a channel called Wheels No Heels. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my story of pregnancy and birth whilst being disabled. So you don't have to feel alone the way that I did when I was pregnant. My pregnancy on the whole was very textbook. And actually I didn't feel any more disabled than I already do. I would hear some friends in their last trimester say, oh gosh, you know, I can't even shave my legs anymore. Or, I can't get my shoes on. And I'd be like, well, welcome to my world. Because I was classified as a high risk pregnancy due to my underlying health conditions, the gynecologists and myself agreed that it would be best for myself and the baby if I had a planned cesarean section. For me personally, I was really pleased with this choice. Having a spinal cord injury, I don't think I would have been able to have coped with natural labor. I was taken into theater and I was so nervous. I was shaking like you would not believe. Then they gave me the epidural, all the drugs kicked in and I felt absolutely fine. And then there was this weird little gremlin creature <laughs> over the screen and I was, oh, that's my baby. Then it was time to come home and that's when the pain kicked in. And you've got to remember, I have a spinal cord injury, so I use a lot of upper body strength. And having had those muscles cut was extremely painful and kind of made me feel just like head and shoulders. The things that I found to be really useful as a parent with a disability, a Moses basket. This was so handy just to have next to my bed so I was nice and close to my baby when she needed feeding or changing in the night. I'm in a wheelchair, so maybe a pram's not so useful, especially the lay down carry cot prams. Our carry cot pram did not get used at all. What we found to work better was a sling. Now there are some slings on the market that are suitable from birth all the way up to about three years old and we used our sling a lot because I became the pram. Preparing bottles and formula for my baby in the early days being in a wheelchair would have been really, really difficult. It's very hard for me to boil a kettle or even pour the hot water into the bottles and warming them up. So I was very lucky that I was able to breastfeed Daisy. It made it a lot more convenient. But if you can't breastfeed, then don't worry, there are ways around it. You can always have sterilized bottles in your room, have them prepared and ready to go. As you can see, there aren't many products out there for disabled people with babies. But what we did was we found our own way around these problems, like, the change table wasn't at the right height, for example, so I would change Daisy on the bed, which made it a lot easier. If you've got any hacks of how you look after your baby with a disability, then please feel free to share them in the comments below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. Make sure to give a thumbs up and also please feel free to subscribe to Mumsnet.